Hi viewers, welcome back to Nursing Simplified. Today we are going to discuss about the diagnosis of pregnancy. So diagnosis of pregnancy can be divided into three trimesters. You all know trimester is nothing but three months. Like you divide the pregnancy as three, three months. So you categorize as three trimesters. So your diagnosis again begins with your first trimester, second and third. So first trimester we see the signs and symptoms of pregnancy. So first symptom during the first trimester is amenorrhea. Amenorrhea is nothing but absence of menstruation. So when you start your pregnancy, you will not get your menstrual cycle. So first is amenorrhea and then morning sickness. Morning sickness is nothing but your feel of nausea and vomiting. Some people will have only nausea that is the feel of vomiting. Some people they have vomiting exactly. So either anything can happen. Both are symptoms of pregnancy. Then we have the breast discomfort. Breast discomfort is nothing but the tingling sensation that is felt in the breast. It is due to the increased vascular supply during the pregnancy period. Actually, the breasts are getting developed or like it is getting trained for breastfeeding. So, that is the changes that is happening during the first trimester where you have this pricking type of feel. And then we have fatigue. Fatigue is nothing but tiredness. So, usually pregnancy is like throughout pregnancy a type of tiredness is felt. But during the first trimester it is very very typical. The mother feels very tired, exhausted and usually like most of the time she feels like sleeping. So, actually this sleeping aids the growth of the fetus. So, you encourage the mother to take adequate rest so that the fetus is growing adequately. Then comes the frequency of micturation. Why this frequency of micturation occurs? Frequency of micturation is nothing but the, like, the feel of using the toilets or the restroom frequently. It is nothing but the uterus is a pelvic organ in the first trimester and when it is on the pelvis it compresses the bladder so frequently the mother feels like urinating so because of that you get that frequency of maturation so when you come to the signs of the first trimester first sign is the jack wimmer sign or the chadwick sign it is nothing but it is the bluish discoloration which is felt in the anterior vaginal wall so, this is a first sign which is felt in the first trimester and then we have the oziander sign. It is also called as the vaginal sign. So, sometimes your examiner may ask what is the vaginal sign during the first trimester. You must know it is nothing but they are asking the oziander sign. Oziander sign is nothing but the pulsation which is felt in the lateral fornix of the vagina. So, that is called as your vaginal sign or the oziander sign. Then we have the Goodall sign or the cervical sign. So anything your examiner can ask you as a Goodall sign or an cervical sign. It is nothing but like it is the softening of the cervix. When you do a vaginal examination, you can feel the uterus is very soft. And we do a vaginal examination, the uterus like the cervix is felt like it is like your lips. It is like when you just close your eyes and when you touch your lips, how you feel? It is the same way you feel the os or the cervical area. And then we have the Hagar sign. So, Hagar sign is nothing but when you do a bimanual examination. So, you will be having your right hand doing a vaginal examination and uh, your left hand over the abdomen. So, when you palpate, you must get your both the hands or the fingers touching each other that is called as the Hagar sign. Next we have Palmer sign it is nothing but the regular and rhythmic uterine contraction and finally we have Piscarkex sign which is also a uterine sign. Here we can feel that the uterus is soft 
and elastic during the pregnancy phase. So, these are all the signs and symptoms which is used to diagnose pregnancy in the first trimester. So, when we move on to the second trimester, again we have symptoms. So, the first symptom is the quickening. Quickening is nothing but the feel of liveliness for the mother. The mother is able to feel that something alive is moving inside her tummy. So, it indicates that the child is alive and it is moving inside the uterus. So, that is called as quickening. So, usually this is felt by uh, the 18th week during pregnancy, but it is very familiar for a multigravida mother than the primigravida mother as because like the mother is used with the first pregnancy, she is able to feel it easily in the subsequent pregnancies. And then comes the progressive enlargement, progressive enlargement of the uterus. So, as the fetus is growing, the uterus grows in height which indicates that there is a pregnancy. Then comes the signs of second trimester. So, in the signs of second trimester, we have cloasma. It is nothing but the butterfly marks over the forehead and on the cheeks of the mother. So, that is called as cloasma. It is because of the hormonal changes and once the woman delivers, she becomes alright again. And then comes the breast changes. See, already I said breasts are getting ready for feeding. So, there are a lot of changes taking place in the breast. So, when you come to the second trimester, you will be able to see that the primary areola is darkening and secondary areola is forming as well as you are able to see the montagmus tubercles. They are nothing but small sebaceous glands that is present around the nipples. They are used to uh, uh, what you say, they, uh, they are used to lubricate the areola which can prevent the cracking of the nipples during feeding. And then we have linear nigra, so when you come to the skin changes, so linear nigra is nothing but there is a long uh, dark line which is formed from the symphysis pubis to xiphisternum which is called as linear nigra. And then comes the striagravidorum, striagravidorum is nothing but it is the pink and white color patches or the stretch marks which is present over the abdomen. It is because the abdomen is getting enlarged, there is stretch marks present all over the abdomen and that you term it as stri gravidorum and then comes the Braxton Hicks contractions or otherwise you say it as false contractions. So, they are false contraction but indicates that the uterus are active, they are ready for like they, they can go in for normal contraction and for normal delivery. And then comes the palpation of fetal parts. So, during the second trimester when you keep palpating the abdomen of the mother, you are able to palpate the fetal parts as head, breech, shoulder, arms, foot, everything can be palpated. So, that indicates that the woman is pregnant and the fetus is growing day by day. And then we have fetal heart rate where the fetal heart rate becomes more uh, more regular and rhythmic. You are able to see that the fetal sounds are becoming more prominent and it becomes more regular. Then comes the belotment. Belotment is the movement of the head. So, when you start moving the head of the baby, so you, you, you can see that the head is moving this side and that side that is because of the pressure what you are giving from the abdomen. So, that is called as belotment which is felt usually in the second trimesters and then we have active fetal movement. So, by the second trimester mother is able to feel that the baby is active, the baby is feeling hungry, the baby is running, the baby is moving all these things the mother is able to feel which indicates she is active with her pregnancy. Then comes the third trimester changes. See, actually during the third trimester, the changes which is happening in the first trimester and the second trimesters are continuing. With that, you are having additional changes. So, with that, you have the amenorrhea persisting. That is like till now, the woman has not started with her menstrual bleeding. Her bleeding begins only after the delivery of the baby. And then the abdominal enlargement as I said in the second trimester, now also you can feel that the abdomen or the uterus is getting enlarged as the growing fetus. And then lightening, lightening is a process in which the baby is growing, 
and in one phase that is around 38 weeks of pregnancy what happens is the baby has to come down so that is the baby or the uterus is getting trained for normal labor so what happens is the head of the fetus gets engaged into the pelvic cavity so when the head is descending into the pelvic cavity what happens you will get this lightening procedure saying so what happens the head getting enlarged into the pelvic cavity it directly sits on the bladder so again you can get the frequency of maturation what we have felt in the first trimester so in first trimester as well as in the third trimester you are able to feel this frequency of maturation and the fetal movements again it becomes more predominant the mother is able to feel exactly whether the child is feeling hungry the child is sleeping, the child is moving, all these things she is very, very happily and uh, very actively she is able to feel. And then comes the signs of third trimester. So again, the same changes or the signs, whatever we have felt in the second trimester, it is going to be a little more uh, fine. So here the cutaneous changes, again this long line. So what we said, it is like linear nigra or the uh, your, your line just that is from symphysis pubis to the xiphus sternum it becomes little more long and dark in color and the uterine shape this uterine shape was cylindrical these many days now it becomes more spherical so by the end of pregnancy it becomes more spherical in shape and then the fundal height the fundal height again already we said like the uterus is growing according to the age or the weeks similarly you can measure the fundal height so that we say as the symphysio fundal height so which is measured from the symphysis to the fundus of the baby so that has to correspond with the week of pregnancy which indicates the baby is growing adequately and then comes the fetal heart sound as we said it is like re becoming a little more regular and very prominent then fetal palpation again you will be able to feel the fetal parts and sometimes this fetal parts are very visible even just when you see on the abdomen without palpating you are able to see that the baby's hands and the legs are moving the baby is playing inside the uterus and then comes the sonography sonography not only in the third trimester in all the trimesters they are the final indication indicators of pregnancy so they tell you how many weeks like which is the part which is the presentation your cephalic or the breech presentation whether the head is engaged not engaged everything your sonography tells which becomes the final diagnosis hope this class was interesting and you understood the class okay so in case of doubts you can ask you can ask doubts send messages send your feedbacks and let's meet in the next class thank you